One of the key things I want to look at, in particular with the bag valve mask, is this little valve here. So this is absolutely fine if you're providing positive pressure ventilation to your patient using this, because I'm opening the valve and delivering gas to the patient. What you will occasionally see people doing is just using this to deliver oxygen and with a peep valve on, potentially peep to your patient and not squeezing the bag. The problem with this is it requires the patient to exert negative pressure to open this valve before they will get gas and be able to breathe in gas from the self-inflating bag. And there's a bit of debate about how much effort that actually causes. So if you take a small sick baby, they're having to exert quite a big negative pressure to move this valve before they can breathe. And you're potentially making it harder for them to breathe. Some people would say that you should never just put a bag valve mask on to a patient because you can suffocate them. Others would say the effort to move this valve is minimal and there'll be no difficulty doing it. So I think the only way to really tell this for sure is I'm going to try this out myself and see how easy it is to breathe through the bag valve mask. Okay, so I've now got an adult bag valve mask and I'm going to test and see how easy it is to breathe and how easy can I open this little valve here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the face mask. And it's very comfortable to breathe through. I have no resistance to breathe at all. I'm going to put the bag valve mask on. Oh, you can see and see how easy it is to breathe through the mask. So I think you can hear the noise coming from this. There's actually quite a bit of sucking in and quite a bit of work of breathing I'm having to do to breathe through this bag valve mask. I'll give you a close up view of me trying to move the valve. <laughs> So after three or four breaths, I'm exhausted breathing through this bag valve mask. And from the previous talk, it shouldn't actually matter whether I've got this connected up to oxygen or not, because this valve should open freely and fill the bag. But I'm just going to test this out for anybody who's worried by turning the, the oxygen up to fill. Nice little reservoir bag, and then I'm going to try again breathing through it. So, again, you can see the difficulty moving this valve, and I have to use quite a bit of work of breathing to do that. I'm now going to put a peep valve on and see does that make any difference. So I've now replaced the expiratory port with a peak valve and I'm going to see how easy it is to breathe through the mask now. You've got the peep set very high because I, can, I can't expire at all right through the mask and breathe it in is very difficult. So this actually feels like I've been suffocated with this mask at the moment. I'm going to try that again with slightly lower peep. So that is definitely easier with the peep turned down. Not as comfortable without any peep, but also exhausting after only 10 to 20 seconds. So I think I could very safely say that with a patient, I don't, one bag valve mask may vary to the next, but I don't think I could recommend that you 
have this on a patient without delivering positive pressure ventilation. The other thing people would say is that if you're doing this, you should you can squeeze the mask as the with the patient's breathing. So I'm going to try that next. As I take a breath, I'm going to squeeze the mask and open the mouth to see if it's not made things any easier. Um, and by the way, having the reservoir bag on doesn't seem to make any difference to the ease of opening the valve. So, as I'm squeezing the bag, it's actually reasonably comfortable to breathe through the bag valve mask. Um, so that amount of negative pressure I'm needing to generate to open the valve is the problem at the start. So starting the breath and getting this valve open, and it almost means that you have to keep that negative pressure going the whole way through the breath, or the valve's going to close again on you. So definitely squeezing the bag, and you can see as I squeeze the bag and keep sustained pressure, the valve stays open. It makes breathing through the mask so much easier. You can just see the valve stays open as I squeeze them. So the last thing I want to do is compare this to a Mapleson C circuit for comfort of breathing through. Okay, so I've now got a Mapleson C circuit with the same mask I had on before. I've got an adult two liter bag, and I'm now going to turn the oxygen flow up to 15 liters per minute and see how easy it is to breathe through this. So I've got the valve fully open, so it should be the easiest setting without delivering any paper. We have a tight seal. So this is definitely much more comfortable. There's no real um, limitation of resistance. The only time I'm getting that is when I'm at the very end of inspiration, when the bag is fully collapsed. So I'm going to show you this. That's the only time I'm getting the limitation to flu. Um, and as I say, you had a patient who was taking excessively large tidal volumes. Um, but apart from that, the initial starting the breath off is fairly straightforward and there's no resistance to flow, it's quite comfortable. What I can do is I put a little bit of peep on, see how comfortable it is to breathe through now. So that is definitely much more comfortable than the bag valve mask. And um, peep is not a pleasant feeling, um, but definitely I find this much more comfortable to breathe through than the bag valve mask. So I think if you need to provide positive pressure ventilation for your patient, either of these is okay. If you want to deliver peep to a spontaneously breathing patient, then I wouldn't recommend the bag valve mask. Um, for me, it felt like I was being suffocated by the mask.